we want to find the limit as x approaches zero of sine eight x divided by tangent three x. But as x approaches zero, the numerator approaches sine zero, and the denominator approaches tangent zero, which are both equal to zero. So we say this limit has the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. But because of this indeterminate form, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to help us determine this limit. Or if we have a limit that fits one of these indeterminate forms, then the limit of this quotient is equal to the limit of the quotient of the derivatives of f and g. Which means this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of sine eight x divided by the derivative of tangent three x. The derivative of sine eight x would be equal to cosine eight x times eight, or eight cosine eight x. The derivative of tangent three x would be equal to secant squared three x times three, or three secant squared three x. In this form, notice how as x approaches zero, the numerator approaches eight times cosine zero, and the denominator approaches three times secant squared zero, and because cosine zero and secant zero are both equal to one, this is equal to eight times one divided by three times one squared, or just eight thirds. Let's verify this graphically. Here's where x equals zero. As we approach zero from the right and zero from the left, notice how we're approaching the same function value, which we can see would be eight thirds, verifying our limit. Now for our next example, notice how we don't have a quotient, and therefore in its current form, this limit is not going to be one of the indeterminate forms given here, where we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So for the first step, we need to be able to recognize that secant theta is equal to one over cosine theta, and therefore we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches pi over two of negative two cosine seven x divided by cosine five x. Again, secant five x is equal to one over cosine five x. And notice in this form, as x approaches pi over two, cosine seven x approaches cosine seven pi over two, which approaches zero, and cosine five x approaches cosine five pi over two, which also approaches zero. So now we do have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches pi over two of the derivative of negative two cosine seven x, which would be negative two times the derivative of cosine seven x, not listed here, would be equal to negative sine seven x times seven, or negative seven sine seven x. The derivative of cosine five x would be equal to negative sine five x times five, or negative five sine five x. So as x approaches pi over two, notice how the numerator is going to approach positive fourteen times sine of seven pi over two, and the denominator is going to approach negative five times sine of five pi over two. Now let's scroll the unit circle to determine these two sine function values. On the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y, so for sine five pi over two radians, this would be the initial side, we'll rotate counterclockwise five pi over two radians, where one revolution would be two pi radians, which is equal to four pi over two radians. So if we rotate pi over two radians more here, we'd be at five pi over two radians. And since the y coordinate is equal to one, we know that sine five pi over two radians is equal to one, and then for sine seven pi over two radians, if this is five pi over two radians, we need to rotate pi radians more, which would take us to here. So sine seven pi over two radians is equal to negative one. So going back to our limit, 
we would have 14 times negative 1 divided by negative 5 times positive 1, which is equal to negative 14 divided by negative 5, or positive 14 fifths, which would be our limit. Now let's verify this graphically. Here's where x equals pi over 2 radians. As we approach from the right, and we approach from the left, we're approaching the same function value. Here, which would be 14 fifths, which is our limit. I hope you found this helpful.